Okay. Out on my wrist, kinda of spin it. Mad at the coop, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it the linens. I got some cash, I wanna spin it. New paper tag, didn't wanna rent it. Too many fads, too many bitches. Roll my slime, get in my lizard. Better to slide, you would get slugged. First, I will be priming my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Spray. Next, I will be taking this fully to brush out my eyebrows. You know, you got to get them in shape before you start drawing them on because if not, they are not going to come out right. So, I always brush them out before I start doing anything. Now, I'm going in with my pomade to do my brows. This is um, the Magic Collection. I got it from the Beauty Supply. It's really not nothing that special, but... I am looking for a new one because I'm tired of this one. Um, it works to get the job done, but I'm willing to try something new. So if you have any suggestions, put them below and I'll try that out and do a video on that. But for now, this is what I have. So I'm going to make it work. So what I do is I go under my brow and kind of like underline it. Now I am going above my brow and outlining that part too. I'm just outlining my natural brow. Um, sometimes I go a little bit above depending on, you know, how dramatic I want them or how natural I want them. Uh, right now, I'm kind of going for something natural. So, pretty much it's looking crazy right now. But once I clean it up with the concealer, it's going to look way better. So, I kind of do this part a little bit sloppy because I know I can clean everything up with the concealer. Now, I know y'all seen what I just did. You have to use a spoolie to brush out the inner brow so it does not look blocky. That's the major key to making it not look so blocky in the middle. So now I'm going in with this Pure Beige LA Girl Concealer. And I'm just going to clean up my brow. Pretty much I do the same thing. Underline exactly where I stop drawing them underneath. Make it a little arch. And I do the same thing above. I just outline just to make it more bold This is my favorite part. You get to blend it out. Blending it out helps so much so it doesn't look so harsh with the concealer underneath. So pretty much I'm using my um, Morphe brush to blend it out. I just go back and forth all the way down to my eye if I have too much concealer. If I don't have that much concealer, I don't really don't have to bring it all the way down to my eyelid. But yeah, I put a little bit heavy concealer on today. So I got to drag it all the way down. And I'm cleaning up the top part the same exact way. I got a little heavy handed with the brush and I kind of wiped off some of my eyebrow. So it's never too late to go back and draw back over where you messed up. As you can see, I'm not even done blending and I was able to go back and draw in where I erased it pretty much. And yeah, you can't even tell. So never be afraid to go back and add or take away if you need to. So after that, I go ahead and spray my face again just to make sure I lock my brows in. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced foundation and I'm just going to do my whole face. Well, pretty much around my eyebrows. I'm not going to do it over my eyebrows. And I will be using my BH Cosmetics Beauty Blender to blend that out. And yeah, I'm just patting it to my face. I'm not rubbing, I'm just going to pat it into my face. Yes, I will be going back in with that LA Girl Concealer. 
I'm going to go under my eyes. What I do is I kind of let mine sit for a few minutes before I start blending it out because I notice it needs time to sit before you start messing with it. Using a different beauty blender, I'm going to just blend out under my eyes after it's set for about five minutes. I will be using Airspun next. I really like Airspun. I just started using it recently. If you use Airspun, comment down below. Um, I'm not sure if there's something better out there, but for now, I really do like Airspun compared to everything else that I tried. I did not let that bake. I started brushing it off as soon as I finished putting it on because I feel like I'm a little too dry to let the powder sit too long I start looking really white and it doesn't dust off so I have to dust mine off as soon as I finish applying it so I sprayed a lot on so it's still wet so I'm just gonna kill some time by being on my phone until it dries completely then I can put my lashes on I will be using my Smolder Cosmetics highlighter I love this highlighter so much I get so many compliments on it I've had this highlighter for over a year and it's in that little container and it's lasting me and I use it a lot. I even gave a little bit away out of my container and I still have some and it wasn't even that expensive but I get a lot of compliments on this highlighter. It's really pigmented and I love it. So I went ahead and put my lashes on. These are my pink Moscato lashes on my website. I love these lashes so much. I have plenty of other styles you can shop as well, but these are my number one go-to lashes. I love how dramatic they are, and I just get a lot of compliments on these lashes. I love these lashes. I always put mascara on my bottom lashes just to match how dramatic the top ones are. You don't want to have heavy lashes at the top and then look bald at the bottom so I always put mascara on the bottom just to help it look all together so this is my finished look with my makeup and I straightened my hair as well and as you can see I am ready for snapchat and instagram if you like this look like comment below also give me video suggestions on what you want to see next